Marlowe Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I am going to be bringing to you a DIY using these new farmhouse frames that you can get at the Dollar Tree. These are amazing. They look like a distressed or weathered wood. These come in a couple of different sizes. I've seen them in the three and a half by five. I took stock in the five by sevens because I just love the look of these. They came in three different colors. I tell you, I was trying to get my hands on those blue ones because I had an idea for a DIY using them, but I just couldn't get my hands on enough of them. It's all right. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait to show you what I do with these. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into this DIY today. For this DIY, I picked up six of these blue farmhouse 5x7 frames from the Dollar Tree, some twine. I'll also be using some of these wooden mini clothespins that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Picked up a two pack of these utility hinges at Walmart for 97 cents. And I'll also be using these wood caps that I also picked up from Walmart. You can get these for about a dollar, dollar fifty. And some of Waverly's chalk paint. This is a metallic paint in the color of Moonstone. For this DIY, I wanted to switch up the color scheme just a bit and I thought I'd go with this blue and gold farmhouse frame. I feel like this has such a farmhouse chic feel to it and it's going to go perfectly for what I have in mind for them. I'm going to start off by taking my needle nose pliers and I'm going to remove all of the metal prongs that hold the backing and the glass into all six frames. I'm going to remove the backing and the glass from all six frames. I'm going to set the cardboard backing aside and keep it because I've got an upcoming DIY in mind for these, but I am going to discard the glass. I have no use for this. I don't like storing glass. I just feel like it's dangerous. So in the recycle bin, it's going. Now taking Aileen's Tacky Glue, this is my personal glue of choice. I have seen great results with this. If you have a preference in glue like E6000, use it. I'm going to glue all six of the frames together. I'm going to do two side by side and three down. So I'll have two rows of three and then technically I'll have three rows of two. Did I just totally make that more confusing than it needed to be? I'm going to take a black tape. I'm using an electrical tape from the Dollar Tree because it's all I had on hand. And I'm going to reinforce where the frames meet in the back. I'm doing it with black because I didn't want it to stand out. I wanted it to just kind of blend together. And I'm going to do that on all of the seams of the frames that I've glued together. For this next step, I will be using some of Dollar Tree's twine because this would not be one of my farmhouse DIYs if I didn't somehow incorporate twine into it. I'm gonna hot glue the twine on the back of these frames and I'm gonna do it about an inch to an inch and a half from the top of the frame. I'm gonna glue the twine across the two frames all the way down. So I'll have three strands of twine that are hot glued to the back of these six frames. Boy, I feel like I'm really making this confusing today. I don't know. It's just, I'm maybe not articulating it the way I want to. That's what I feel like. I'm not articulating it very well. But here you go. You see what I'm doing here? And I'm gonna do this across both frames like I was saying. Once you've got the twine glued across the back of your frames, you're gonna wanna glue down the center of your twine where the frames meet there. You want this glued down because this is gonna add to the tension of the twine and you want the tension a bit tight. You don't want it to be loose. Now using some of Waverly's metallic paint in the color of Moonstone, this gold is gorgeous. It's kind of a muted gold, not too flashy. I'm going to paint my wood cap with it. I'm showing two caps here because I'm doing multiple of this project and I forgot. 
you only need one for your project. If you use a pencil and you put it on the end of your cap, it fits perfectly and it makes it really easy to paint your cap. You don't have to worry about holding it and getting paint on your fingers or putting fingerprints because it fits perfectly. I'm also going to paint six of the mini wood clothespins. This is optional. I just really like this gold. I wanted to use this gold because these blue frames have gold in them. And I just thought that this gold really gives it kind of that farmhouse chic feel. And so I was trying to veer away from the wood look. And so that's why I'm using this gold because it really is just a pretty gold. I'm not a big fan of gold, but I love this one. I'm also gonna take and paint these utility hinges, which are also like door hinges. I know that they're gold. I just don't like the gold. I wanted the golds all to match, and so I'm just putting a quick coat on these hinges as well. Because I'm feeling a bit impatient today and I don't have time to wait for the paint to dry, I'm gonna pop all these items in the oven for about five minutes and they're gonna be good and dry. I set my oven to 135 degrees because that's as low as it goes. I've never had a problem with my paint cracking. I've never had a problem with anything warping. It works perfectly and it really gets the job done and moves the projects along a bit quicker. Everything is good and dry. Let's finish up this project and put it together. I'm gonna hot glue the knob to the center frame on the outside edge right in the center. Then I'm gonna take my hinges and I'm gonna hot glue them on the opposite side of the knob on the top frame and the bottom frame right in the middle. And all that's left to do is to place the mini clothesline pins on the twine and add some pictures to this. The pictures that I'm using today are pictures from this year when I took Allie to the poppies. We live really close to where the poppies are in full bloom during the spring. And so every year we like to go there because it makes for great picture taking. And so this year, I just thought, wow, these pictures are gorgeous and these were the inspiration behind making this frame. I did, however, when I downloaded the pictures, I used a filter on these because I wanted to give these pictures a soft look. I didn't want the bright, vibrant look because I just wanted them to kind of blend in with the frame. And so the filters that I used when photo editing, which come with windows, is slate. And on top of the slate filter, I used a filter that I think is called Icarus. I could be pronouncing that wrong. I probably am. But the slate is what gave it kind of that grayish undertone with just a bit of color. And then the Icarus kind of gave it that cloudy look around the outside, which was perfect and what I was looking for for these pictures. I love them. They turned out gorgeous. They work perfect with this frame and I couldn't be happier. This is a DIY that so many of you have been asking me to do. You wanted my take on a rustic farmhouse window. There are so many of them out right now. The DIYs are great. And so I thought I'd bring to you my take on it using these frames from the Dollar Tree and some items that you could pick up from Walmart. I hope you all enjoyed today's farmhouse DIY using these frames and this window that I've come up with. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.